Hey guys, what is up? My name is Jeff and welcome back to another video. The most common misconception upon creators is that you need really expensive editing software to produce great content. And I'm here to prove to you that that's simply not true by using a program called Filmora and I want to thank them very much for sponsoring this video. Filmora is a editing program for Mac and PC that allows you to edit video and they added so many cool features with this brand new update that I want to showcase in this video. If you are interested in downloading Filmora, make sure you click the link in the description down below and you can download the program and even get yourself a free trial. Also, we are going to be doing a giveaway for a free Filmora serial key, so if you download the free trial, make sure you use it for a good amount of time and also come back to this video, let us know in the comments down below how do you think the program can be improved and what do you think of it and we will be selecting a winner for a free Filmora serial key. With that said, let's go and hop right on in. So as soon as you load up Filmora, you will be greeted by their welcome screen which does have a few quick options for you to check out. So it lets you choose the aspect ratio you want your program to work on. So if you have a square screen, you choose 4 to 3 and if you have a widescreen monitor like mine, do 16 to 9. Under that, they have a little easy mode, which allows you to just drag in a few clips and it'll add music for you and it will be super easy. But if you want to get the most features out of Filmora, I highly recommend you check out their full feature mode, which they did add a lot of updates on. So what we're going to do is open up full feature mode right here. And as soon as you load it up, you'll be greeted by a whole bunch of new features they added. I'm going to be showcasing all of them in today's video. So as you can probably see, when you load up Filmora, the regular version, the one that we had before, it used to be all white and people were saying, Jeff, this hurts my eyes, I cannot stare at this for so long. And I actually got a lot of people saying they should make a black screen mode so it can be a little bit darker. And as you can see, as soon as you load up the program, that was it. If you want to enable it, just click right here and it'll make the whole program a dark skin mode. Super, super cool. Next thing I want to show you is the advanced text editing function. Now in order to get that started, what we got to do is import some clips. So to import, just head over to the media tab, click import, import media files, and then we're going to head over to our files and we're going to import them. Then it will load up this little box and show you the import, how it's importing. And as soon as you do that, you can drag it in. So what we're going to do is drag in one of the clips. And then we're going to head over to text and credit. and. Filmora is a web-based application, which means not really it's web-based, more like they have updates for different holidays. So for example, they have a lot of stuff for Valentine's Day, which I'm going to be showing you guys in a few minutes. And it's pretty much a lot of updates that you can keep on getting, so it's always evolving and always changing. So they added a whole bunch of stuff for Valentine's Day, so while we're, sh while I'm going to show you guys the text editing function, I'm actually going to head over to their... Um, text that they added. So they added six romantic text and credit. And as you can see, if you want to preview them, just double click. Now that one actually looks like very modern. These are more like, they're more like old school, but hmm, they look cool. Oh, that one's, oh, I like the fade in. That's really cool. And I'm going to show you guys how to edit. So in order to import it, you can either click this plus icon or you can just drag it in. So we're just going to drag it in. He and it should go in. Now, He's since I don't want any background noise, what I'm going to do is just click here and just mute the clip by right-clicking and press mute. And we're going to zoom in by going to the slider. Now, if you want to edit the text, all you need to do is just double-click on the text and it'll bring up the screen. Now, this is not the advanced text ed editing function. Before now, we're just going to put my name. So we're going to type in Jeff. Over here. Jeff's tutorials. There you go. So it's going to come in. I'm going to go back to the beginning. All right, ready? Boom. Looks cool, right? Now, they all have some more stuff. Now, of course, you can change the the actual uh, font, the color, everything along those lines, and even pick for a few presets right here. But what I want to show you guys is the more text editing function, which is their new advanced text editing function. So in order to do that, just double click as usual and press more edit and it'll bring up this window. Now, this is so cool and they have so much stuff added here. So you can actually change right here each element. So for example, in this one, we have two elements. We have Jeff and then we have tutorials. So it's two elements. We can change settings for each one. Now, right here, this is your preset and then we have settings. So you can change your image fill, the gradient fill, what kind of colors you want. There's just so much stuff. I'm not going to be able to show you guys everything, but I'm going to show you guys all the features that I can have. You can change the opacity of it. 
can blur it out just a bit by changing the slider right here. You can add a border to it. As you can see, the border looks okay. For this one, it doesn't look very nice, but for other texts, it does look a lot better. You can change the color of the border, the opacity, the blur, the size of the border. So, okay, so let's actually experiment. So we're gonna do a black border and it actually, see, it doesn't look that bad. See, that actually looks pretty cool right there. And you can also add shadows and stuff. So as you can see, there's a little bit of shadow. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but you can also change the shadow type. So there's, let's see, 12 or, yeah, 12 different types of shadows that you can add to here, which is pretty cool. Change the opacity of it, blur it, and the distance of the shadow. So if you want to go really far, you can or not. Up here, you can add more text. So you can actually make like, you can do Jeff tutorials and you, maybe you can add like another one called video or something. You can copy and paste it and add a new one. Then you can also trash each one. So let's say I want to trash that. You can trash it. And we're actually going to control Z that. And you can also add pictures, change the font, change the size, change bold, italicize, middle, not, and change the margins. Now right here, you got yourself aligned. Uh, I'm not sure what's the difference between these and this, but it's also there. And it also has layers. So you can actually change like where you want it on the scale. So this is more useful. This one right here is more useful if you're going to be overlapping text on top of each other and you want one to go on top of each other. Over to the right here, we got animation. So you can also change the animation of the text. So you can do uh, no animation. And if you go over here and just like, click it, it will show you like a little um, thing where it actually shows you um, pretty much what it's going to look like. And you can always import that into here. But for now, we're just going to keep it regular and there you go. That is the brand new advanced text setting function. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about, I'm going to be showing you guys also at the end of this video on how to render, but in terms of rendering, they also added 4k video support. So you're going to be able to render videos in 4k. So let's say you're gaming in 4k. Maybe you're recording some video in 4k. A lot of, a lot of Android phones actually record in 4k these days. Um, and you can render video in 4k out of here and you can upload it right to YouTube, which is great. Uh, 4k support is definitely a step up and it's awesome. Next thing I want to show you guys is the brand new Valentine's Day update that they added. And this is a brand new part of Filmora, the brand new edition. So they added three romantic music elements, three text and credit elements, eight romantic overlays, and 15 regular romantic elements. I'm going to show you guys all those in this video. So we're going to start off with the three romantic music. So what we're going to do is just exit out of here, press OK. And we're now over to music. And then we can head over to romantic, as you can see here. See how they have all these categories, romantic. And all these are no copyright, by the way, so you can use them inside your videos. And that's pretty cool. So as you can see, you can also import, but these are the ones that they got here. Just some romantic music right there. So in order to import, you can either press this plus icon or just drag it right here. And what we're gonna do is just put that right in there. Now, I only wanted to go to, so what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna, I only wanted to go for a little bit, so what we're gonna do is just, uh, let's see. Just drag it back here. Okay, there we go. And what we're gonna do, we're making like a little video here. Pretty cool, right? And there you go, those are the brand new, um, music items that they add. Next thing we're, we're gonna do is text and credit. Now I already showed you guys the text and credit, how to edit it, but these are the rest of them. I think I already showed you guys these, but yeah, that's the text and credit. Over to filters, they did not add any brand new filters since they all look really amazing and they're pretty much perfect. Filters are pretty much like Instagram filters that you can add to your videos, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's basically like, they have this little thing here where you can like see um, what it's gonna look like. So they also added some romantic overlays. So they have over 105 overlays. Um, overlays, a lot of people ask me what are the difference between fi uh, filters and overlays. Overlays are pretty much like animated filters. So that's basically what it is. Um, as you can see, the still the other ones from the Christmas update are still here, which is great. So I'm gonna download this one and I'm gonna show you guys the one with the brand new update. But yeah, as you can see, you can still use your snowflake one. So we're gonna head over to romantic. Again, all the categories are right here. TV static is also a nice one if you wanna do like stunt montages for video games or something along those lines. Head over to romantic. As you can see, we uh, got hearts. Ooh, that one looks pretty cool, I like two. That one's also good. I've, ooh, wow. 
Seems like they're getting like, more intense every time. Now, as with the other stuff, all you need to do to put it in is just either drag it in just like this, or just click that plus and it'll pretty much be doing the same thing. Moving on, the last feature I want to show you guys with the brand new update before I move on to the rest of the features of the program is the brand new screen recording feature. So all I need to do to get to it is just head over to the media tab and instead of clicking import, click record and then do PC screen or you can even do webcam but PC screen is the brand new one and then it will load up this so you can either turn on your mic on and off or you can pick uh, so you can mute it or you can keep it going and you can turn off on the, uh, the system audio on and off or you can uh, do the custom so you can choose where you want to record right here and then you can also do settings uh, 60 fps or you can't really do 60 but you can do 30 you can do mouse clicks if you want to show your mouse click uh, you can do the start and stop key which is going to be f9 or you can change it you can play the mouse click sound and you can put uh, where it's going to save to so it's ultra easy and it'll open up right in the program so let's start it out so and they have this nice little counter it's overall just like a really polished thing so as you can see right here got that so we can just move around boom 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 now we can stop it and it'll save it right there and it'll put it right back in so let's close that and as you can see as you can see right here got that so we can just move around boom 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 as you can see right there super simple and it was literally right in there it took no time to do it and it's awesome and i think that it's going to be a lot of a big feature that a lot of people use now i want to show you guys a few other features that people have uh, been asking me for now one of the big ones is how to do live commentaries over gameplay so let's say i want to start a live commentary right here all i need to do is just go right here and see this little microphone button click that and then we'll put up this thing and just do uh pick your microphone and press record and it'll go three two and you can literally do it and it'll start playing so right here as you can see you got a mission playing now obviously the the audio is playing and you really don't want that to happen but again we're gonna mute that actually so let's mute it but yeah there is your clip and you can literally just import it now we're actually gonna delete that clip for now but now in order to show you guys the last feature which is going to be how to play videos in reverse all you need to do is just import any clip so we're gonna just import one of these clips we're actually gonna just import the same clips over again and all you need to do is just drag it in that clip and then just double click on it and it'll bring up this menu right here now you can change a whole bunch of stuff inside this menu but in order to play in reverse just go down here and just all you need to do is just click play this clip in reverse and it'll legit play it now as you can see, it might take a while because it's going to actually play the audio in reverse. So if you want it to go a little faster, because usually people don't play audio reverse, they just do video in reverse, just mute it and then you can redo it. But basically after this is done, it's going to play that clip in reverse. Um, so yeah, it's going to be super cool. Uh, all the other stuff in here is very cool. So you can rotate the clip any way you want, change the contrast change the speed so it's going to be slow motion if you want it to be now i'm going to change the contrast back but yeah change the saturation to make it a little more saturated change the brightness the hue whoa that looks funny um and you can also add um some enhancements to it now if that's the video part you can also head over to the audio part and you can change the volume if the clip has um audio you can also make it fade in for the audio a fade out and you can also change the pitch which is pretty cool and if you ever screw up something you can always press reset and um, it will reset so there we go we just reset it so that's basically it so that covers fast and slow motion live voiceover and a whole bunch of stuff now we're also going to i'm also going to show you guys how to detach the audio so to detach the audio all you need to do is just right click on the clip and then just press audio detach and basically what it does as you saw there so look here so the audio is like attached to the clip. Let me zoom in actually. Okay, wait. Uh, okay, so if the audio is attached right to there, you can also right click and then press audio detach and then the audio will be detached from there so you can edit that completely separately. So that's pretty easy. So it's not gonna be connected to it and it's pretty cool. Now you can also import clips from social media. All you need to do is head over right back up to that import button and then you can also import it right from Facebook 
Instagram and Flickr. So let's say you have an Instagram video or a Facebook post with a video that you want to put right into Filmora. All you need to do is just log in and then you can put it right into the app. Now, a whole bunch of stuff that they added here. Um, I covered this in my last video, but uh, they added some new um, transitions. Now, none of them are Valentine's Day themed, but they're also pretty cool. So you can always uh, test out with different transitions. So we're actually going to put one in right there. So they have a whole bunch of different ones. So like that. And then you can always uh, test different ones out. Now, they also have split screen. So you can uh, put in right here. And then all you need to do, so there's different clips right here, and there's three different drop zones. So all you need to do is just drop any of the clips in here. Now, as you can see, uh, some of them have sound. In order to mute it, just click right here and it will mute it. And then you can uh, like play it back. So as you can see there, now I only have two clips, so only two of them will be playing, but yeah, so that's basically how you do it. And then you can do the border color and stuff like that. And you can change around stuff, so. Yeah, you can also uh, do that. So that's split screen. They have a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, split screen is really useful because it looks pretty cool. The, the more like elements you have, the cooler it's going to look. And yeah, it's basically it. You can also change the volume right here if you don't know. And snapshot. So if you want to snapshot um, part of the video, maybe make a thumbnail. That's also good for making thumbnails. Let's say, okay, so let's say you want this as a thumbnail. Okay, that's actually, let's say you want this as a thumbnail. Just click right here and then it'll put like a little screenshot in here. So there you go. And you can also add that to your video or something. So it's pretty cool. A lot of different customability inside this app. So there you go. That is Filmora right there. Make sure you check it out in a link in the description down below for Mac and Windows. But before I do that, I want to show you guys how to export and render. So as soon as you're done with your video, just, yeah, as soon as you're done, click export and it'll bring up this little um, window here. Now you can also change the file name right here and you can change the format. So they have a whole bunch of different formats. You can do uh, format, device, you can upload right to YouTube if you want it, Facebook, Vimeo, and you can also do it right to a DVD, which is really cool. They, I never knew they had this really good DVD interface, but yeah, um, even though DVDs are not really used a lot anymore, you can still put on a DVD and there's a whole bunch of different options. So usually what you're gonna be using is probably MP4. So what we're gonna do is put, and then you can click, settings and they have a whole bunch of different settings so you can change your quality to best good or better change your encoder type h.264 is like what everyone uses so just uh usually you're gonna pick that you can change your frame rate change the audio encoder the sample rate how many channels there's gonna be bit rate your resolution so as you can see right there as i was saying you got 4k support 496 by 2160 right there and you can also change your bit rate um and they also add a higher bit rate to support 4k so as soon as you're done doing that click export and they also have a little thing here so you can also so let's say you're doing some late night rendering as soon as your video is done rendering you can make it so it just shuts down your computer which is super cool or you can make it so it does a sound reminder that's what i would do or you can make it so it does nothing so let's say you're live streaming and you're rendering something at the same time you can just make it so it does nothing so it's quiet and it does not distract you while you're streaming so that's basically it um obviously as soon as it's done rendering it will go right to your location which you can pick right there but yeah, that is basically it. So there you go. That is Filmora. Again, make sure you check the link in the description down below to download Filmora for Mac and PC. They have a great free trial, which allows you to experiment with all the features. And if you like it, you can buy the free version, which is ultra affordable. And again, if you do not want to buy it and you want to be entered into winning a free serial key, make sure you download the free trial test it out, make a few videos, then come back to this video and let us know in the comments down below a true review by you, what you want to us to improve on inside Filmora, what do you like about it, what you don't like, give us an honest review and we will be picking one of you guys for a free serial key. Anyways, my name is Jeff, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.